Hey guys, MaxTech team is here at CES 2025. So here is a highlight reel of the most interesting tech that we have this year. Now, right from the get-go, we have something that looks cool, but also quite creepy. We've seen these robot dogs before, uh, but they really stepped it up this year. They have a humanoid robot that is shaking hands with people. It's recognizing what's going on. Uh, and these little dogs that you can buy for 1600 bucks, that's like an M4 MacBook. These things are doing flips. They're standing on their back legs, uh, their front. They're super agile, mobile. I know people use these for security. Um, I don't know if we'd want one of these as a pet walking around your house looking all creepy, but if you wanted to walk with a camera or even roll and keep your compound safe, maybe add a couple attachments, well, these things are very inexpensive now. Now, one huge thing at this CES is gaming, especially with NVIDIA finally announcing their 5000 series of GPUs. Now, I'm here at the Gigabyte booth, and of course, the last few years, AI has been massive, and it's crazy to see all of these um, different server setups for AI compute. The amount of power that they have there, the crazy power cables that are coming in and the cooling that is needed is insane. Now with that, because AI is so huge, so many GPUs, especially from NVIDIA, were bought out for AI use. And it's really nice to see that NVIDIA actually lowered the price of the 80 series. So the 5080 is 999. Some people were saying it's gonna be 1200, 1500. I'm so glad that the price tags are lower. Now, of course, some of the specs that they gave out, they're inflated because of extra frame generation, but in general, performance is better. And the cool thing is the cards actually got on average 10% smaller as well. And Gigabyte has a variety of cards we have a pure water block card no pricing yet on that one but that looks sweet and, and then also the all-in-one water cooling one that's the one that I want to pick up to keep everything nice and cool and quiet but I think the 5080 is going to be the star of the show if you can pick one up the size is good it's a double slot design they have their gigabyte 5090 and they have their Aorus one which is pretty dang massive and at 575 watts that's a lot once you add everything else in. In our gaming room that we have, um, I don't know if we can pull that much power without tripping the breaker, but it is an exciting time if you're a gamer. So many different PCs. A lot of the PC pre-built manufacturers are actually starting to use more standardized parts for upgrades later. I mean, it's a nice time to be in the gaming space. And here we are at our partner BeatBots booth. They're showing off the new AquaSense 2 lineup of robotic pool cleaners. We have the AquaSense 2 right here, the AquaSense 2 Pro, and then the AquaSense 2 Ultra, which I'm gonna focus on, the world's first AI-powered five-in-one robotic cleaner. It's loaded with AI cameras and 27 sensors. It basically maps out the shape and everything about your pool so we can perfectly clean it and actually senses debris that it can go clean. It can skim the top. It can scrub the sidewalls twice. It can clean the bottom. It also has a clear water clarification system, which puts out basically the chemicals that keep your pool clean. It also has TUV's privacy certification for the camera, so no worries about that. And the whole AquaSense 2 line is launching on February 10th and they all have a three-year warranty. This right here is the Shure self-docking and charging station, which has this really cool ramp that will come down, allow the AquaSense 2 Ultra to go up and charge at the top. So it's basically fully automated. And they also have this really awesome Beepot Amphibious Robo Turtle for research and ecology where it can go down, scan different materials, debris with all these sensors. So use the links down below to check out the AquaSense 2 lineup and their new launch that's coming and also sign up for BeatBot's exclusive event. And of course, we have the Rideables. Now, I remember having a little go-kart growing up. Now, there are so many better options and things that you don't have to mess with carburetors, pull starts that are breaking. I mean, look at this cute thing. It's so tiny. This is like for a one-year-old or a little two-year-old. You don't have to be huge to have fun. So if you have kids, now is a great time. And the cool thing is, compared to your power wheels back in the day, they got some nice upgrades here. So this is like a little Jeep thing. Now, cool thing is the quality is so much better than the plastic seats. And with that, the wheels 
This, these are rubber. This is gonna get some good grip, not just peeling out like when my kids were small, batteries dying very quickly. Now, of course, at the Hyper booth, they got a bunch of stuff. You got this kind of low rider, go-kart kind of thing. A lot of e-bikes, we love e-bikes and things like that. Um, your little Stasic kind of competitors over here too. So now is the time to be into rideables and right across right over there, it's not only for little kids now, um, if you're an adult and you want to go off-roading, you can even get an electric ATV with over 200 miles of range now. Huge suspension, four-wheel drive where you can switch into rear, get more range. If you love electric stuff, this is really cool. And here we're at the next booth. This is Taurus, our partner for this video. They're showing off a lot of cool products focus on their stand cases and some of their really cool cooling tech. So they have some new cases. This is their stand case air. Then we have the fitness, which is more slim compared to the air, which has like these bumpers on top. And they also have their spin case. Now, the cool thing is that they have their new Mega Mag magnetic system, which actually has an eight layer magnetic case structure. And this year they've upgraded the kind of sound. When you spin it, it makes this nice little satisfying sound when it goes through and you could basically just choose any kind of spot you want for your stand which is awesome and right here they have their new line of chargers they have their flex line they have the USB-C cable built in magnetically and it's retractable and then they have this thing right here this is their polar circle magsafe chi 2 charger so you get 15 watt charging but they're using their semiconductor cooling tech which you could see the frost on this it basically cools it down while you're charging. So a lot of times with a Qi 2 chargers, you're charging your phone, but it overheats. It slows down the charging speed and your display dims. This basically counteracts that by cooling it down so you don't have that issue and you charge faster. And it has this cool stand built in. So definitely use the links below to check out their stand cases and these new chargers. Thanks to us for sponsoring this video. Now, if you're tired of rolling your luggage around with you, I'm here at Aotus, if I'm saying it right, and you can literally ride your carry-on. Now, I tried this out, it was very fun. I almost fell over on it. A little bigger and a little top heavy, uh, but it's a motorized carry-on suitcase where your handlebar will actually collapse, go in, same with the little foot pegs, and you still have plenty of space inside. I was really surprised and you actually uh, can pull out the whole battery out of it. It's a power bank, so you can actually charge up your phone or whatever else you want to charge all in one unit. Now, it comes in at 500 bucks. That's their target as far as price point. So uh, more expensive than a cheap carry-on, but I've seen people buy carry-ons for that price tag just for nice luggage. And this thing, you can only really ride around the airport. I was told it is legal to ride them around and just stow it while you're going somewhere to make sure you have it with you. So that is really cool and fun. Now, if you're tired of living in a normal house, AC Future is saying that this is the future of homes. Now, I have my own camper trailer. I've been in plenty of RVs and I have to say, this thing is amazing. Now it is a prototype, but the quality of it is impressive. Now this thing is all electric as far as driving. Uh, but what really surprised me is they said they're gonna have multiple versions and the base price for this thing is 289,000 if that actually comes out. It's supposed to be out in about a year and a half for the first production. And for an RV that is this large, that actually is not a bad price. I was thinking half a million. Now, a lot of RVs have slides, but the slides on here are massive. They pop out so much. They have solar panels on top. The whole back slides out. I mean, this thing drove in here, fully working, small, and then it gets huge. And inside, it's very modern, minimalistic. Everything is actually working, which a lot of times it's not with prototypes. And uh, as far as the weight, I have no idea, but this thing has like semi wheels on here with all the battery packs. It's gonna be crazy heavy. But the cool thing is, the first model is gonna be an ADU that they're gonna be putting out, which is like a mini home, plus they have a camper trailer version, and then this full on mobile home. Now, I don't think this is the future of living, uh, but it is very cool. All right, guys, so that was day one. There's a lot more cool tech that we haven't shown you yet, so definitely subscribe and stay tuned for tomorrow's day two video.